Alright, I think we did it. I think we set it up again. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, playing some more Dragon Warrior Monsters today. Uh, it was a long day. Stream started a little later uh, today. Uh, super, super difficult day at work today, so stream might not go as long as it has the last couple times, but... Uh, to tune back in, we just lost. Uh, we just lost this uh, uh, Starry Night Tournament class something or other. Um, so now we gotta go... Um, we can try it again. We can try to beat it this time and, you know, hope for the best, but you don't actually get any experience when you uh, do those tournaments, so... We're actually gonna go back in, uh, to, I think, to the barbecue gate. Uh, run through it once, maybe do some training, hopefully... Hopefully get a couple levels under our belts, and then we should be good to go. Um, once we do that, we'll be able to beat that. We'll be able to open up a couple of other starries. Yeah, we'll definitely beat them next time. Um, we'll be able to open up a couple more gates, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, if we open up those gates, uh, we'll definitely have most of our monsters up to that level, like that crucial level 10 point. Uh, so we can actually get some new stuff, and I'm really excited about getting some better monsters. <laughs> I do like most of ours. Um, I'm really, really liking this bug. Buff the bug. Uh, I've never used him before. I've never, like, I've, I don't know, I've never, like, I don't think bred any of them. I usually stay away from, like, the, uh, plants or whatever insect typing he is, uh, because I don't really see too much use in him, but, yeah, we definitely gotta get on some breeding. Um, dude, we just got a spot slime without giving anything, and I think I have just the perfect name for a spot slime. What do you think of that? <laughs> it's Spotty the Spot Slime. We're not going to take him, we're trying to train. Uh, unfortunately, we got to take a poison hit here. That's okay, though. Look at all these items, hell yeah. We need, we need to recoup a little bit of gold because we spent 50, I think, on losing that uh, battle. So, we're going to need some more stuff. <laughs> we're going to need a few more things. But hopefully, hopefully we can run into a few battles here. What would really be nice is if we found um, another monster tamer and tried to, oh, <laughs> like right on cue. Right on cue, this guy shows up. That doesn't happen very often. The last time we fought this guy, we had, he had an ice man that we were able to steal, but I don't remember if we had uh, any ribs or anything this time. We got some beef jerky. Yeah, all we got is beef jerky, so we're probably just gonna fight him and win. I don't think we'll try to, I mean, if he has something, if he has a lava man, you better believe we're gonna try to steal it, but. It's gonna be a lot of beef jerkies, I can tell you that. We'll put everyone on defense and be like, okay, everybody, no, no attacking. Oh, there's no, no lava man. So I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna fight this one out. Um, I don't think there's too much we have to worry about these monsters. I don't really remember what any of them do. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna breathe some fire on them, and I don't know. Hopefully, kill them all really quick. This, this gate might be a little tougher because it's supposed to be a somewhat advanced gate. I'm not sure that the game recognizes that you can just use the dragon that you got, or herb that we got earlier, um, to, like, light this barbecue so quick. I think they, 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 I'm guessing they realized it, but, uh, this is kind of like a step and a half above. Like, I think this gate is about how strong the next gate is that we open up. So, it's kind of cool to get in one this early and be able to, uh, fight these monsters, get actual experience. Ayo, that's what we're looking for. Couple more levels up, some attacks, heck yeah. Let's see how much more we need to get to the next level for those two. It'd be nice to get him for one more, but I saw Poop just got like a plus 10 attack right there. Uh, yeah, they need a little bit. Maybe we'll just get Ellen to level 14 really quick. Um, then we'll warp wing out of here and go challenge that, that dude with the snails again. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't hurt us. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't win. Can't win. That a uh, crest pent right there? It's like I think it's supposed to be like one of the more basic dragon types, but it, it's kind of one of those funky types that I guess can breed. Uh, it just breeds into like different kind of like serpenty dragons instead of like I don't know a classic looking Americanized dragon. It's like it it is like. It breeds into, like, the serpenty ones. I'm not really sure a better way to put that. Probably doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Down the hole. 
Maybe we could find another monster tamer. That would be perfect. That way we can just boom, get him and go. I'm not really sure what like the spawn rates are for him. So far we've only challenged the guys who heal you once you're done battling them, but we uh some of them will like give you items. Um some of them like there's one that just gives you a warp wing so you can leave, which is like, hey, thanks for kicking my ass. Bye. <laughs> um and I, I don't know, some I think one gives you like some kind of cool staff. One of them, I, th I think there's a really rare one that like warps you to like one of those treasure rooms that we saw maybe maybe last episode, maybe two episodes ago. Oh, that's a tiny metal. We want that. Tiny metals are. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to spoil, I guess, too much of it because we're gonna. <laughs> you'll see some cool tiny metals uh, at one point during this let's play. Uh, but they're kind of like the collectible things that you can turn in. Uh, to get better stuff, you can turn them into... I think you can get an egg. Speaking of one of those rooms. But we found an herb. We don't want it, though. Yeah, but you can uh, cash tiny metals in for, like, eggs and stuff. Uh, to this guy who collects them. And l the more you get, the better the reward is. Sometimes he gives you, like, Wow, there's just a bunch of crap in these chests. Beef jerky? Seriously? Wow. Well, I guess it's just gonna be a free room. There's a warp wing, but I think we, I think we already have a warp wing. Yeah, we got a warp wing. We don't need nothing besides that. Two warp wings again is like kind of useless, especially because you can. I think you can just buy them in the shops anyway. And you, once you use a warp wing, you just go back to the castle and you can completely reset what you just did. So it's not really. Yeah, wasn't that like the worst room? <laughs> it was like it was just a bunch of beef jerky and herbs. Let's see if we can get this guy. He might go for it. I think we were trying to name this guy Fork, but we didn't get him last time. <laughs> He's just the cutest little demon you've ever seen. Hey! Yeah, we'll take a Fork. We definitely want Fork. We missed Fork. Again, just going to the breeding house, but that's sort of the fate of most of the- pretty much all monsters that you uh, encounter, and even breed as well. They just kind of- that's just what they end up being. Until you get like your final team, but you kind of just want to be cycling uh, through new monsters all the time because every time you breed them, they get stronger. There's the hole. We should probably train at some point. <laughs> all right, so we got we have one more hole, but sometimes the last hole is like not good. Sometimes it's like uh... yeah, we should find something that has a spoon. Maybe that could just be our team. We could be fork, knife, and spoon. That's a good idea. But what would we call ourselves? We'd be monster tamers, but... <laughs> I don't know. There's gotta be a good name in there somewhere. You're in charge, shiny metal assassin. You you tell me. <laughs> you seem to come up with good puns a lot. Not that I know that off of any other aspect of my life, but you seem to... You seem to come up with puns sometimes. That are occasionally good. Oh my god, we've got two crits in a row. Heck yeah. That's what we need when we go fight those guys again. We need to make sure we're, like, critting people. It'd be nice to have a healer, but... I don't know. I like that all of our guys do a lot of damage instead. Feels right. It feels right. Oh, there's a hork. That's kind of like a hork. There's a hork. <laughs> we should probably try to get that hork. I don't think we have any zombies. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not getting the work. Beef jerky, sweet. All right, we got one more hole to go down, and it should just let us warp right out. If you go back into these um, traveler's gates after you've already like beaten the boss monster um, and captured it or whatever, then it just spits you out at, like in the place that you would battle them anyway with a little warp pipe to warp yourself back out. There's not like another boss battle. There's not like an extra thing to do. Ooh, is that a sky bell? I think that's a sky bell. And I don't remember what a sky bell does, I just remember what it's called. I know, isn't that... I don't know what we would call ourselves. There's definitely a name somewhere for having a team of fork, knife, and spoon. There's definitely a name. I don't know what that name is. I'm feeling very not creative right now. After being at work too long today. Mm-hmm. Nice, Ellen got her level up. His level up? 
I don't actually know what gender... <laughs> we accidentally named the boy Cat Ellen. I hope actual Ellen doesn't mind that we did that. I need to probably pay attention a little more to the genders. Or the sexes of a... Uh, I don't know their gender, but <laughs> pay attention to the sexes of these. <laughs> Sweet. So we, we're just gonna get through the rest of these battles really quick, find the hole, jump down in it, back to the castle, and we're gonna try again. Now that we have a little more stats behind us. I think we got a little bit unlucky, if I remember from yesterday. They did like the whole ally call for help thing, and then we got hit like four times. Three or four times or something, and like... Buff died, like, immediately because he couldn't take four hits, which is understandable. <laughs> I fully understand why you can't take four hits. I'd be ashamed of you if you could only take two. I'd be super, super ashamed. Alright. Back through the gate. Ooh. King's not here this time because uh, he already talked to us for this part. <laughs> he tried to give us an herb, but we already have too many, turns out. Our inventory is already full of herbs. Yeah, it's like four shovels. Oops, I almost walked down. <laughs> it was literally like four shovels to the face. We are registering for E-class, please. This was Tito, wasn't it? Like the guy that... Wasn't this... Wasn't that like the... The, the boss... Well, not the boss, but like the last guy we fought in this? I'm pretty sure it was Tito. He was bragging about beating whatever class that was. And he was like, oh, I'm actually just the guy at the end of it. It must have been. I think this is Tito. <laughs> Alright, so this time we need Buff to do the uh, the mix thing because we want him to use his nap attack as much as he can. Uh, Poop just wants to attack and Ellen just wants to attack. I think that's probably the right thing. Oh, he dodged right away. Crap. That's no good. That's no good. The sleep is great, though. <laughs> Hopefully that... Oh, crap. We do not want to get poisoned. Ah, uh, it's not good. Poisoned is really bad in this. Especially when it happens, like, early when you're fighting these guys. Because, no, like, the more turns that it takes you to beat these guys, then the more that poison ticks down. Ellen was probably the best person to poison, I think. Because, uh, they have the most health. But it's still not... <laughs> still not good. Definitely gonna take some more free damage right now. We don't like free damage. We want to be the one doing the free damage, not taking the damage. But that was actually really good. Apart from the poison, we didn't really take any other hits on that first battle. Hopefully the second one doesn't put us at too low health. Oh yeah, this is the guy with the herb. This is herb. Gotta kill herb again. Maybe we can try to steal this herb. But yeah, it doesn't let you use it doesn't let you use any items in this battle. So we just gotta fight our way out. Hopefully we kill that slime before it breathes. Yeah. Whenever they do like a deep breath like that, it means their next turn they're trying to... Yeah. Next turn they're trying to, uh, like, make one of the fire breath moves, like what our poop has. And it's, like, extra strong. Oh yeah, the poison did go away! Huh. That must be something I forgot about this game. That's pretty great! That's even better, we only took like 8 damage from it total. I thought for sure it would just carry over. But, I guess I was wrong. We're in pretty good shape going in this last battle. Let's not take four shovel hits this time. And, uh... I don't know. This is where we're at from there. No more shovel hits. We're definitely gonna want, I think, uh... I don't think we want Poop to breathe fire this time. I think that was sort of our last resort. I think he's... I think we want, like, single target damage. So we're just gonna go for it. No! Don't appear from nowhere. We don't like that. Oh, it only hit us once. Last time it hit us like three or four times each time. Oh god. <laughs> this battle. Wow, after all that it just missed. Just straight missed. Oh god, maybe we have to breathe fire. Yes. Well, <laughs> never mind, he's just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> he is smarter than we are. Alright. I think it's going better so far than the last time. I hope. I don't like that he's using Ice Bolt that hits everybody. Ah, crap, Buff died. I guess he's not good against the Ice move. God, he got the allies twice. Crap. This is really not good. This, I, thought it, I thought it was going better. It is definitely not going better right now. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, we killed one Snaily. I think we've we've been here before. We've done this before. Oh no. Oh, poop dodge. Nice. Oh no. We might just go right back into this. I feel like we got even more unlucky this fight. I think we might just spend the 50, the 50 gold or whatever to get right back in. Try it again. Or maybe we just add a healer to the team. I don't really know. I don't really know what the solution is going to be. Crap. This is back when they made games hard, okay? You can't just go through it. <laughs> My monsters are not too weak, I promise. Like, we, we level, everybody leveled up, and I think we did worse. <laughs> I think we did worse than we did last time. We'll try this one more time with this crew. If it doesn't work, then maybe we'll go breed something. Maybe with our healer slime, so that we can have a somewhat decent healing monster instead of one of these other ones. I feel like our weak monster right now might be Ellen. I would say Tito is really good. He's he is like the master of this class. How can, like I can see why we're not beating him. He's just too strong. Yeah, Ellen's really fast. I like that she's I like that he's fast, but I don't like that he just doesn't he doesn't, like, do a lot of damage. He doesn't, like, trip people very often. He doesn't use his, like, tripping move ever. He just uses that vacuum slash, which I think is just, like, a move that hits first. It's kind of good, but I don't know if it's as good as, like, a healer. Yeah, his bragging wasn't warranted. He was right. He was right after all. He was he was better the whole time. All right, that was a great... I don't even know if we took any damage that battle. That was good. Freaking RNG. Freaking amount of times that we've just poor herb. These guys just keep getting back in the read and they're like, oh, we gotta do this, we gotta fight this guy again. <laughs> we don't like this guy, he's not fun. Except for Tito. Tito's like, why not? Why not? We'll get in there. We'll definitely get in there. Hop right in. We'll take him out. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it makes sense. The reason that uh, Connor wasn't able to join last night, which I was bummed about. Uh, I think he had some dinner plans, it seems, so he wasn't able to, he was only able to, like, just hop on and then go out. It was probably at Courtney's parents' house. I think they have dinner over there a lot. I think they have dinner over at her parents' house a lot, because they live relatively nearby, like, 15 minutes or so. But I think he said he, I don't, well, he didn't say it, but he, I told him that I was going to stream tonight, so uh, hopefully he's able to stop by, at least for a little bit. The stream started a little bit later tonight, so... I don't know. Uh, who eats dinner at, like, 8 o'clock? That's way too late for dinner. What time do you eat dinner? <laughs> what is your dinner time? I'm curious. When is dinner time? <laughs> I hate this call for health ability. It's so strong against us. Hit three times. Damn. And then the ice bolt right after, which hits everybody. Yeah, we might need it. We might need to get a healer after all this. Maybe we can get lucky and. Uh, you know what I just realized? I think these snails. Stay a day, sometimes five, sometimes eight. You're one of the. I don't know. I feel like I can't. After like a certain time of. In the night, <laughs> I don't feel like I can eat anymore. I feel like I'm just. It's almost like I cut myself off. Oh, that was awesome. Did you see that? Ellen, like, he didn't do, she didn't do, he, he didn't do Vacuum Slash, but he did, like, the, he did a different move that let him go first. Which makes me think that these snails are really fast. I think the snails are fast. This is going better. This is going much better. Because <laughs> if the snails are faster than, like, the, the cat that's on fire, which... That make like that makes you go faster if you're on fire, right? If you're if you're something, anything that's on fire, you automatically just go faster. I know. I think we're gonna do it. Hey, we did it. We did it. Fuck you, Tito. <laughs> we're gonna go right up to that guy right after this battle. We're gonna walk right up to him and see what he has to say about that. <laughs> but nobody died either. None, none of our monsters died. King has opened the room of peace and bravery. More traveler skates with stronger monsters are waiting for us. Excellent. All right, Tito. <laughs> what do you think of that? I'm sorry, I was rude. Give me a chance. Why don't we read our monsters? Oh yeah. Oh no. 
He has an ice man. We wanted him to have a lava man. Crap. Uh... Well, we stole that guy's ice man for no reason. Uh... Maybe we can hold on to that ice man and... Turn him into a lava man? Ah, oh, it's the worst. That is the worst. I swore this was a... I sw oh, God. I swore it was not the Iceman. Crap. No, we're not going to breed with you. Uh, come to me when you want to breed. So maybe we'll get lucky and have a lava man. It was so cold. It's literally the worst thing that could happen. I can't believe... Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, now that we have a couple of Traveler's Gate Tome, of course, let's just go see if anybody got to level 10. Also, by the way, is my... Is the stream recording my mouse right now? Like, my cursor? Mm -hmm. Rio is still not 10. Zubat is, though. Uh, Zubat's the Draki, right? From the bird-looking family. From the family with wings. Now mouse, sweet. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. I don't know. How about you? Uh, Flora J. Uh, I don't know that I know what that is. I feel like what I need to do with this series is, um, like, make a list of, like, possible things we can breed together at any time, and then sort of decide together what monsters that we want. Based, I mean, it's gonna be based on their name because we don't really know what they are. I don't. I know where. I know what some of them are, but I don't know. I don't really know what a lot of them look like. That's a wing tree. If you put a tree together with a, something with wings, it makes a wing tree. I don't think we want a wing tree. But I do want to see what Zubat will go with. Uh, was it not mean? But I mean, Gino's the Ice Man. We can't. Uh, do you think this would make a Lava Man? Oops. Uh, no, not you, Gino. Yeah, Gino. Oh, a Blizzardy is really cool. I know what I know what that is because it's one of like the mainstays of this game. A Blizzardy is like a it's like an Ice Phoenix thing. It's very cool. I'm a big fan of the Ice Phoenix thing. Um, God, there's a lot of things to breed here. A coil bird and nah. Alright, we're just gonna see what Zubat does with um where'd he go? With Ellen. A bowl bird. Breed the fork and the chicken. <laughs> That's a good idea. Can we do that? Uh can we do that? Chicken is level nine, so we can't so those two they can breed eventually together. Because one's a female and one's a uh, one's a male. Yeah, we want Rio to be level 10 because we actually want we actually want something out of him. We want to breed him, I think, with Pa not Pash. Uh is it Clay? We want to breed him with somebody. I don't remember who it is. I don't remember who it is. But I think for the most part, when you breed him it makes the same thing. I think he's like one of those monsters that no matter what you breed him with, he kind of, like his next step up is always something else. Uh, Alright, so we're just going to stick with the team. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the Ellen right now. I, that's the, that's the kind of the one I want to replace. I like the bug a lot, and I, I feel like maybe we should breed that bug with something to make a better bug. Because we really like that nap attack ability, the one that puts everything to sleep. And those, and the cool thing about this game is when you, when you breed monsters together, um, whatever their parents know, the moves that their parents know, um, that will carry down to uh, the children. But if they if, if your parents never learn a certain move, then oh that's cool. Uh, if your parent if the parents never learn a certain move, then the the young one will never learn it either. So like if we were to breed um, the sky dragon with somebody, they would know that like the fire move right away, the one where they they breed the fire, and that move gets better as the game goes on. But they I don't I don't think they would learn anything parent-wise. They wouldn't come with any of those moves. They would just learn the ones that that monster would naturally learn. Should we go into Peace or Bravery? We go right to Bravery, we go left to Peace. What do you think? 
do do <laughs> Peace or bravery? That's the question. Am I go to peace? Alright. I said left to peace, right? <laughs> we do this every time. <laughs> I have to remember. Uh, right to bravery, left is peace. Okay, we're going into peace. Peace sounds like one that we want to go into. Hopefully there's some good monsters to capture and train here. Uh, what we're really looking for is... Uh, what we're really looking for is training so that we can get everybody else. Um, who's... Oh, that's a coil bird right there. That's what we would have gotten from breeding, like, that Zubat was something. I don't remember what... Maybe it was... Maybe it was Ellen. I think that's what... <laughs> if you mix a bat and a cat together, you get that thing on the left right there. That's what you get. You don't get... You don't get a cat with wings. You get a little thing with a horn on the end of it. That I think has an eyeball. I think there's an eyeball in the center. I, really, I can't really tell what that looks like. <laughs> it's, it's a funky thing. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. All these sprites have, like... I don't know. I feel like there's, like, you could, like, turn your head upside down, flip the screen over, and maybe we'd see something different. I don't know. Those things are weird to look at. Thanks, one hole. We still got our warp wing in case things get hairy. Cat bat. Cat bat. That would be a good name if we had more characters. If we got a cat bat. Hmm. We don't want herbs. We're so far past herbs. We don't need herbs anymore. There's no barbecues around at all. This this gate has a lot of monsters that we've seen before. Yeah. Just take the take all the uh, A's out and we'll have whatever that however you say what that is that you just abbreviated. Oh a potion is actually pretty strong. The potions, um, they heal your magic points, so uh, we're just gonna no, we're, ah toss it. <laughs> they heal your magic points, and there's not actually a lot of things in the game that do that. So when you have like a monster that specifically casts like spells and stuff, cut butt. <laughs> oh, another tiny metal. We actually need to go. When we get back, remind me that we need to go visit the tiny metal man because. Uh, they'll just take up slots in your inventory, unless you, like, actually give him those medals. Or they'll just sit in your already limited inventory space anyway. So, we should probably be visiting him every single time we have, like, one or two of them in the inventory, just so we free up other space for all the herbs that we could possibly have. Oh, hey, this is one of those uh, cool rooms where there's merchants at him. Uh, and this is the place that... So, the reason these are so good is because they buy everything that you have in your inventory for their exact value that they would normally be bought for in the castle world. So this is where we want to sell like our staffs because they're worth 1500 gold. And I think we have two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're never going to use these staffs, so we're just going to bank it really quick. And that's another thing we actually need to go visit the bank too. Um, but that's exactly what you want to do here. is. Uh, Basically, you save those staffs and you sell them here, and you, you basically have enough. Uh, basically, have enough gold for everything. The world leaf. We will take one of those. That's like a super emergency thing. I think that just raises a monster, right? Yeah, just re it revives a, a monster on use, and we can use that in battle. We can use it uh, if we're just like walking around one of the travelers' gates, and I don't know, somebody gets poisoned and dies. But it's a really good item to have. Usually you want to fill your inventory with, like, two or three of those once you're in late game. Because your monsters do randomly, like, faint. So there's, like... There's, like, some... Ooh, a bone slave. We already have a dragon kid, don't we? I'm pretty sure we have a dragon kid already. Let's just fight him for now. He's ready to fend and attack. Okay. I was kind of hoping we'd hit the... <laughs> Hit the dragon first. That you see how little that does, that fire breath move because that dragon kid's a dragon type. Like the fire moves do nothing on dragons. It's so little. Yeah, I feel like we have one. I feel like we have a dragon kid. I know we have the mini one, the mini drac. Oh, a pork chop. Sweet. I think pork chops are a step up from beef jerky. 
I think it goes beef, jerky, pork chop, ribs, sirloin. I think that's, I think that's all. I think that's all the meats there are. Well, actually, there's, I think there's bad meat, too. Oh, hey, I like, those are pretty good monsters. Uh, bad meat is, like, if you feed it to your monster, it gets poisoned, but obviously you don't want to do that. You want to, you want to feed it, uh, to one of the other monsters. It's not that useful of an item, though. We're going to try to get this rabbit. Um, it's not that useful because usually when you're trying to go down to one monster, you're trying to capture it anyway, so usually you don't want to poison the thing you're trying to capture, I feel like. Give me the rabbit! Ah, oh, we didn't get the rabbit. We didn't get the unicorn rabbit, and we gave it a pork chop. Crap. That would have been nice. Okay, so we definitely don't... I'm gonna make sure that Poop is in charge mode. Because <laughs> I do not want him breathing fire on these guys, because it'll do literally nothing at all. We want him to attack and use his attack power. You know what? They really missed... <laughs> They really miss the ball, I feel like, on the monsters here, because what if some of them are vegetarians, right? There's there's literally just beef jerky, pork chops, ribs, and sirloins, and bad meat to eat in this world. There's nothing else. There's nothing else to eat. <laughs> so, if you want to have some asparagus, if you're trying to have a nice green dinner, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And it also makes a lot of sense that a rabbit with a horn coming out of its head would be a vegetarian. It makes a lot of sense to me, anyway. We know what happens when you eat the herbs. You become the king of the great tree, and you start walking around and giving everybody else herbs. And you have a secret life as, as something else in the world that will be spoiled later, but... That's how I know they're not from Melly. Where are you even from? Where the heck are you even from? Alright, these... We're starting to get very confusing. Very, like, crisscrossy paths around here. starting to be difficult to find the hole, and that is not what he said. That is not what... Oh, he has a bolt move? He has a, he has a lightning move. That's pretty good to have. I think those, like, slash moves, they do things based on, like, how much attack you have, and not, like, how much magic power or anything, or any intelligence or anything like that. Um, they just have, like, a little... Uh, like, our bug, for example, is, I think, really bad against ice, so an ice slash would be a lot more effective than just a regular attack on it. We have a... We do have a map... Oh, wait, do we still have that map herb that I said was useless? Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna use that, all right. Watch it be next to us. <laughs> I mean, that is sort of a ways away. But at least we know where to go now. I was thinking it was going to be in this part of the map right here, like we just took one step to the right, we would have found it. <laughs> we'll use the map herb, why not? It's kind of just an inventory space. You can always find the thing by just walking around enough. In worst case scenario, you just encounter a bunch of crap, you kill it really quick. You get some experience points and you move on. It's a pork chop. Nope, beef jerky. But luckily we know where it is now. Luckily we know where the hole is. We can just go right there. But yeah, look at this. Like, look how confusing these maps can be. And I feel like this isn't really... This is just, like, sort of a medium difficulty one. But they they really ramp up after, like, the first couple of Traveler's Gates you go through. And it really becomes a problem when, like, your monsters... Like, some of them have to use their magic points to actually do damage to things. Because not all monsters are just good at attacking. And so if you, like, get stuck in one of these gates for way too long, um, what ends up happening is that you run out of that magic points, then you basically have a totally useless monster with you. Is there another unicorn rabbit? I, I wasn't watching. I need to pay attention for some of these that we want. Apparently we want the unicorn rabbit. <laughs> Poops level 11. That's good news. There's our hole. How many... We have seven to go through? Seven's not bad. The last one we went through was eight, the one with the barbecue. Oh, that's a perfect timing for this. What did we do? I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so it's just this one, right? And then one more, I think? I think it's just one more. We got some new music. 
It feels very, like, Legend of Zelda Lost Woods-esque. Oh no, we didn't, ca we didn't catch the Unicorn Rabbit yet, but I need to be paying attention because I think it sounds like that's one that everybody wants, <laughs> so we'll try to get a Unicorn. You're gonna poison me, seriously, right before this? Oh my god, screw you, man. Screw you, Hork. Yeah, I don't think we have a rabbit either. I don't think we have a rabbit unicorn thing. We'd like to. Am I still poisoned? I can't remember if that... Yeah, we still got poisoned. I think I bought some antidotes, though. Sweet. Sweet! Good job, me. We should definitely get a rabbit. I agree. We, it's called, like, Arimajay or something. Dude, we landed in a casino. Heck yeah. How's our luck? I don't know. Uh, what does it say? Monster gold. Gold here is only for monsters. Okay. Can we play a slot machine? Hold the slot machine. The symbols are spinning around. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Three slimes in a row. Wow, we're so good. I got 50 monster gold. <laughs> Hold the slot machine. It's been ka-ching, ka-ching. We got three medallies. Oh, three medallies are sweating. Jingle, jingle. Okay. We got a hundred mon- Damn, dude, we're rich. Only in monster gold, though. What did you say? That customer has an attitude? Oh, is it this guy over here? She didn't save nothing. Well, we're doing pretty good, aren't we? Spinning like crazy. Uh-oh. It's spinning again. It's not spinning. What's it doing? We hit the machine. Spits out coins. We got 200 monster gold. Sweet. Can I play your game? Oh. How can we... What do we do? Hmm. This machine gave you nothing. Who are we supposed to talk to around here? Yeah, I'd like to do something about it, but... I feel like... What do we do about it? This reel's still spinning. Talk to the other people. We broke the lever. Uh, welcome to Skeeto. Monsters for gold. How's our luck? Pretty bad. Wait, can we do it from this side? Oh, we can do We can play him from this side, too. I hit the jackpot. Wow. Jingle, jingle, jingle. I got 500 monster gold. This guy's probably pissed. This guy's probably pissed. I did. I broke all the machines. Why are you the only lucky one? Give me that monster gold. Dude, you can have it. It's not useful to us. Oh, look at this funny looking guy. He's like a, a green slime with hair on him. It's called a fang slime. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's try to, let's try to trip him. Do you think he'll get tripped? It looks like he's... Oh my god, 30 damage? You gotta be kidding me. That's no good. We're definitely gonna try to catch him. I just don't want to die in the process. <laughs> We're gonna use that herb. You can use uh, herbs on uh, the other monsters if you really want to. I don't know why you would, but you could. I don't like how much damage he's doing. Hopefully we can just bait him out. I don't know. We're doing some good damage to him, but he's a boss monster, so he's gonna take he's gonna take a few extra hits. Hopefully he just joins us. I don't think there's only one boss monster I think in the game um, that you can actually successfully feed. Uh, meats and stuff too. I think there's only one. Like it, like all of them are already like predetermined on whether they're going to join you or not. Except there's one that you can, uh, one that you can feed, and he'll join you. But you have to. It's it's kind of. I think you have to feed him like three sirloins or something, or two sirloins and a rib, something like that, and he'll join you. But most all of them are predetermined for the most part. We're doing a good job right now against him. We tripped him. We attacked him. He couldn't get up. He called for help. He didn't need help. We're, good. We're looking good. I wonder if this slime heals like our other slime does. That'd be really nice. I think we're gonna have to heal Poop here really quick. Uh, do we? Oh, we might not have any more healing items. We do not, so we're just gonna have to go for it. Gonna nap attack, gonna attack, and we're gonna try to trip. The slime has fallen over. <laughs> the slime. Nice, we got him to stumble again. Perfect. 
That is one thing that Ellen is really useful for, which might- Hey, we got it. Yeah, we got his Fang Slime. Yeah, we'll take a Fang Slam. No problem. His name is Fang. Should we name him something different? I like his, uh, I really like his, uh, character, whatever. <laughs> his sprite, that's what the word is. He's got a good sprite. Fang seems like a relatively appropriate name for this guy. You like Fang? I like Fang, too. I didn't really see any teeth in there. I think it was just a slime mouth. But, I don't know. He seems to be into it. I like Fang, too. Nope, we're not going to take Fang. We'll send it back. Yeah, I told you you could have the gold before. Time to go back. We had fun in the casino. We didn't win any real money, but we got some monster cash. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, we did. We beat the Fang Slime. We're great. Maybe they're metaphorically teeth? You think the slime is metaphorically a slime teeth? Could be. I believe it. Do, do, do. Oh, we're dismissed. Let's get some herbs. <laughs> Every time we come back here, there's herb hype. We gotta get them herbs. Nice. All right, something we gotta do first before we do anything else is we're gonna go visit the, uh, we're gonna go visit the tiny metal guy. And uh, hopefully he gives us something good. It's up this staircase that we never go up to. It's literally the only thing up here besides this lady who's gonna jump off the tree. Here he is. <laughs> I collect tiny medals scattered all over the world. If you find some, give them to me. I'll reward you. The more medals, the better the reward. All right, we've brought him four of them. That's pretty good. He'll give us one zap bird egg when we get to 13. Yikes. Both the metal man and myself love medals. Green medals here, he'll reward you. Thanks. Those metal slimes right there, those are like some of my favorite monsters in the game. After you visit the tiny metal guy, visit the shiny metal guy. <laughs> Aren't you the shiny metal guy? <laughs> you're the tiny metal guy. No, you're the shiny metal guy. Who, which guy are you? All right, we're making our way down to the Brady section because I think it's time for us to get some new monsters. I think it's time. <laughs> you're the shiny metal guy. We gotta go visit the shiny metal guy. Do 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 do. All right, can we do it? Oh, Rio's still not level ten. Ah, oh, goddamn. We've worked so hard for this. This dragon kid though is. Well, I think what you can do. Hold on a second. Where is? Uh, oh god, I don't. Remember. We've named these guys. Things level twenty. Wow. He's literally level 20. That's like so, that's way higher than any of our levels. He's an ordinary thing, slime. I would say he's extraordinary. Being level 20. Uh, chicken's level 10, though. Maybe we should breed chicken with somebody. We're gonna try to find an Ellen match, I think. Because I don't really, I'm not a big fan of Ellen right now. Uh, Ellen with not too bad. We've done that. Not play. We still need him. Not buff. We still need him. Dragon kid. Oh, hey, that's the rabbit. If we if we uh, breed Ellen with this dragon kid, we'll get the rabbit. Should we get the rabbit? Should we go with the rabbit. That way we don't have to go catch one and try to like give it jerky and stuff. We can get this one. Colin thinks we should do it. I think he's right. I think we should do it. We do need a rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit might be pretty good. We might find other rabbits, too. I think we should do it. I think we're going to get the rabbit. Let's just double check before we do it. It's okay. Um, I think Connor was here. I don't know if he was there briefly or not. It, we had the view count go up, which... I'm assuming wasn't somebody who I don't know. I'm not that good of a streamer, so I don't think it was that. But uh, I just want to see who, what Ellen will go with. Where is the other one? Not Dragon Kid. Uh, chicken. I wanted to see what Ellen would do with Chicken. There's a cat fly. A cat that flies. <laughs> That's kind of like the cat bat. Where does she get cat bat? Sometimes we put Chicken first. 
So we did. We can. So we can get a. I like the. I don't know. I like the idea of the rabbit. I think the rabbit's a good idea. I don't really know anything about cat fly. Um. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna get this. I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna get the rabbit unicorn. I'm going for it. That way you guys can actually see what how this works. Yep, go for it. Hopefully this doesn't crash the game. <laughs> I set it to like not save, so. Oh there it is, there's Ellen and a dragon kid. They're looking at each other. It got all white. And they disappeared. Uh oh. <laughs> Flying, and I couldn't get a flying rabbit, I can get a flying cat. And we're actually not gonna hatch it yet, I wanna know one thing really quick. Uh, Rio's a boy. So, I wanna go make sure that... Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Cause we're not trying to... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Never mind. That doesn't matter. We're just gonna hatch it. We're going to hatch this J. Yeah, that's it. That's the one we want. We want the rabbit with the horn, please. All you have to do is wait overnight and put it in this. This rooty... I'm guessing this is the roots of Great Tree. There's our rabbit. <laughs> he's not just a boy, he's a good... He is a good boy. What should we, uh... What should we name this thing? We got a rabbit that's a unicorn. A unirabbit. <laughs> what do we name a rabbit unicorn? about what if we like just call him Wes is Wes a good name for a unicorn rabbit Rorn oh that's pretty good I like Rorn better than Wes I like Rorn better we're gonna go with Rorn that's a pretty unique name. Yep, we'll take Rorn. Sweet. So Rorn, like all the other monsters, he's going to start off at level 1. But he's a beast type, so he should have pretty decent attack right away. He's really fast. Uh, we kind of got to protect him, though. Because he's going to... He's really, really weak early. Hmm. Rabbit Horn. Yeah. Rorn. <laughs> What we really need to do is try to breed something that has a healing aspect to it. And I think we only have one monster that knows heal. I think it's Hale. And Hale's almost the right level. Rio is really close to leveling up, but we really want him to be level 10. I guess we'll just go back in and go to the other gate. What do you think? I think that's kind of the... I think that's our next step here. Let's head to the other gate. The last one had a fang slime in it, which was sort of an underwhelming boss, if you ask me. But uh, I know I want to get a new—I want to get a new Rio. I want to get another Rio because Rio was doing so well for us early, and he's a great early game monster. I just want to breed that Rio to make another Rio that looks a little different, is a different monster. And but once we once we do that, it'll actually have a monster that's one of my favorites for the game. That honestly is probably going to carry us through most of the game. We are being super brave right now. <laughs> that's just an old hobo. That's not a monster. Look at him, it's just a dude. It's just a hobo that stumbled into a world. He's like, oh, I fell into a traveler's gate. Here I am. His name is Flora Man. Come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's Flora Man. Hey, we should catch a Flora Man. We, should, we, we could put the hobo in our team. Roran's gonna start leveling up. He only needed like five, I think. Wait. Did you say he just learned fire air? And sleep? Okay. We have a rabbit unicorn that can breathe fire. Bet you weren't expecting us to get that today. <laughs> I sure wasn't. Oh, a pork chop too, nice. Oh, where's the freaking hole? I wanna go to the next one. This one has eight. Yeah, he learned we have a fire-breathing rabbit unicorn thing on the team. That's pretty... I mean, I just... I really like the sprite for the rabbit a lot. It's like... It really pops out. Like, the Sky Dragon one is... Eh. It's 
kind of whatever. It just kind of looks like it's a blob of yellow. You know what I mean? But the the uh, the rabbit one is awesome looking. We already have a fork. We don't know another one. Oh, one thing I was gonna say about when we were talking to the tiny the tiny metal man, he had that slime with him, and the slime was called uh, like metally or something. Um, the metal slimes in this game, once you start finding them, holy crap! Once you start finding that guy's a bean. Um, <laughs> Once you find the metal slimes, when you beat them, they usually try to run away from you right away. But when you beat them, they give you, like, a crap ton of experience. Like, we're getting, like, a max of, like, 70 or 80. And the slimes will give you over 1,000 just by themselves. If you kill two of them, it's 2,000. Uh, and it's those are, like, the ones you really, really want to try to train your monsters up on, because you can get to level 10 a lot faster. Why don't you attack the... We're going to try to catch this bean man, I think. He's a bead man. He can he can burn thing. He can put them to sleep and then light them on fire. <laughs> that I don't know about you, but that seems like a pretty good move set. <laughs> Kill the demon knight too. Nice. I think we're gonna give this guy a pork chop and see how it goes. <laughs> Do you think the bean likes a pork chop? I like his shoes. I really like his shoes. Lord's gonna level up a little bit. Nice, we got the bean man. And it's a female bean man. Hmm. I think there's only one appropriate name for a bean man. Yeah. Nope. Sweet, we got a bean man who likes pork chop. Well, being wom a bean woman man that likes uh. Pork chops. Maybe it's like one of those things that the the bean man is like like the sex is female but they're male. One of those kind of things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> leg sweep. Nice. So the only reason that, that our rabbit learned leg sweep is because one of its parents knew leg sweep. It wouldn't have learned it otherwise. It was a trans bean. Yeah. Exactly. This game does a great job of capturing... <laughs> of, of really modernizing what monster hunting is like. This is it. This is exactly what you want to watch when you watch somebody monster hunt. You want to watch a bean man who is female. And you want that bean to eat pork chops and join you. That's just the modern American dream if you ask me. 22 experience. Alright, these... Oh, a staff. Nice. These holes are getting really difficult to find. There's a couple of items in the game that are kind of like repels. I don't really remember what they're called. Um, but you essentially put them out there and you won't ex you won't like run into any monsters. Again, it's not that useful because it seems like battles go by pretty quickly and you actually get a reasonable amount of experience. It's not quite like Pokemon where all you can do is like level up one or two Pokemon at a time. You can actually get your whole team experience every time you battle. So it seems to me to be a little bit more worth doing than most other battling systems. Oh, Rorn. Rorn's doing pretty good so far. I kind of forgot that we had to protect him and I just started attacking with him. And it worked out. Love water is good. That heals us even more. All right. Here's our hobo friends. Let's see if we can try to get a hobo. I mean, we already have the name picked out and everything. There's Firebane? That's another, like, everything fire move, but I think it does more damage than most. I think all we have is beef jerky. Yeah, we don't, we don't have any good meat. We just have beef jerky. Hobos probably like beef jerky. I mean, I feel like if I gave a homeless man a rib, he'd probably like it more than beef jerky. Good job, Roar. Dang it, we are not getting lucky with monsters right now. We were a lot luckier earlier. Where is the freaking hole to the next place? Ha! <laughs> Good one. <laughs> they certainly can't be. Do, 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 do. 
do do do. Yeah, that beggar chose to not be around us at all. A Laurel. I can't remember what that does. There's a Laurel. Was it Laurel? I can't even. What was it? Yeah. Oh, it breaks a curse. Uh, so, like, a curse is just, like, a, it's not cool or anything. It's just a status effect in this game. It's not like a, oh, you can break a curse on a stone zombie golem or whatever it was. That, what was it? A, Jew, a Jewish golem? Or a Jewish... What was it? A Jewish zombie is a golem, right? Is that what it was? That's what I found out what a golem was. Oh, another mapper. Let's just use it right away. right next to us. There it is. We should just check to see if there's like a a monster tamer around. We kind of want to, we, we'd really like to see a healer one right now because we're actually a, about half health all around. We are going to sell you a mist staff, sir. Um, can we actually, maybe we should buy like three of these. We'll just use them all right now so we can heal up. We don't really need that much healing, but whatever, we'll just go for it. Herbs are only so useful. Yeah, we, we got the staff. Yeah, if you try to sell those staffs, like, in the regular merchant places in the in the in Great Tree, I, it's something like, like that miss. oh, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Um, well, should we go through this? We can warp wing out. Oh god, that's awkward. We have to walk through all of that poison to get to the other side of this. That is not good. That's like... That might kill us, actually, if we try. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get. We don't really want to die out here because we'll lose, like, all of our gold. No, we almost died. <laughs> Whew! It's really a big bummer when they put you on the shit like that. <laughs> Saving first. No, we're not. We're not doing that. We're we're straight streamers. We're not. We're not. We're not doing that kind of nonsense. Okay. If bad things happen, bad things happen. And we're okay with that. It's okay if bad things happen. We can't have everything can't be perfect. <laughs> Look at that chicken. Look at that thing. <laughs> This is a bull bird. This We could have uh, bred, I think, for a bull bird with somebody. I don't remember who it was. It was probably like, was it... I think it was Ellen and maybe that... I don't know. I can't remember what it was. It was Ellen and somebody. Ellen and somebody we could have bred together. We are not walking through any more poison. Maybe we should have tried to catch that bull bird. We, do, we did pick up a rib, but I was kind of waiting to see if we'd run into another hobo. I feel like we should probably use that rib on a hobo. How does a cat make a bull bird? Um, I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you can imagine happening, <laughs> is this game is great for your imagination. <laughs> it's excellent. Just let your mind run free. If you were to smash a bug with a tree, you would get a bug tree, and it would probably even be called a bug tree. Tree bug. Yeah, this is why poison can really suck in this game, if you don't know where you're going. Like... Oh, look at the size of that worm. Think of the fish bait he would make. Um, crap, we kind of want the hobo. I don't care about the worm very much. Uh, sure, poop might pass out here. Poop might pass out. He might think. We're gonna try to kill the worm. And then we're just going to focus fire down a hobo. And then we're going to feed the remaining hobo a rib. And see how that goes. Maybe he likes ribs more than whatever it is we fed him earlier. Uh, you attack. Poop's actually going to defend himself. Just so these guys don't use a move that kills him. When you defend yourself, you like make like 90% of the damage that you would take. Uh, do nothing. So if somebody were to hit you for like 16, normally it would hit you for like two. All right, hobo. Hobo floor man two. Here's a rib. What do you think about that? Hmm? What do you think about the rib? 
Ooh, you like the rib. Yeah, he likes the rib. And he's a flora man male, a male flora man. Yes, we want you. And you will definitely be called Hobo. Hobo. Yep. We don't want Hobo, but we're happy to we're happy to have him. <laughs> we're happy to have him, we just don't want him want him. We need him for his superb hobo like genes. That's what we need him for. Uh, love water, we should probably use that right now. <laughs> I don't know, we might have to actually warp out of this one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat the, mo the boss. I don't remember what the boss is of this one. I remember the first I remember the first couple ones pretty well. Oh nice, we got the hole. But I do not remember like the middle of the game ones like at all. Music changes are so good. Picked up a pork chop. Ooh, and staff. Nice. We're getting all kinds of. Miss staff is like the worst one to get. It's like worth the least amount of money, but it's hard to say no to 700 gold. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. We want to talk to you. Maybe he has. Uh, maybe he has a uh, a lava man for us. All right, this is good. It's always good to get these guys in the very last. One. No, he doesn't. It's got a slime board though, which is not a metal slime. I wish it was. A metal slime gives you like that crap ton of experience, but this guy is just like a cyborg slime looking thing. Fireweeds are pretty good though. Fireweeds are like a like a support style. Yeah, I like the fireweed too. I might just feed him a pork chop to see if we can steal another monster. We might as well try. I feel like we should try to steal this thing. Although the slime board looks kind of cool, too. That's going to be a miss. He's going to shout. Oh, he's going to freeze us in shock, though. Which might actually give us a turn to give him a pork chop and a beef jerky, so... We'll, we'll try it. I love stealing other monster tamers monsters. It's hilarious. A fireweed's not a monster you experience until... I don't know, we're probably halfway to where... In the game to where you start seeing fireweeds. They're kind of like... They're more of a later game one. Um, and they're a lot stronger than this one is here. Um, this guy has like the same levels of stuff that we do. Maybe even a little less. They're supposed to like basically match the monsters that are in the Traveler's Gate. Maybe somewhere around their level. But obviously the monsters are a lot better. Give me your fireweed. Ah, we didn't get the fireweed. Dang it. It was worth a shot though. And the heal was definitely worth it. We almost got the fireweed. That would have been sweet. And the hole is right there. There's no reason to check over there because there can only be one tamer for every uh, for every map that you're on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I know this. Uh, I just know this puzzle, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and complete it because I think if you fall off, something bad happens. Two guys are having a conversation. Tut. <laughs> yeah, you ever you ever get so mad at somebody you're like tut. Tut tut tut. It's not here either. So angry. I got a sword or something on his back. There's cliffs you can jump down. Have you tried jumping down the cliffs? We have not. We solved your puzzle right away. <laughs> Look at this cute guy. Look at his little smiley face. He's so grinny. Uh, this is one of those like really hard hitting. Uh, bosses, I think. So we're going to try to trip him up and make him fall asleep as much as we can. I think he has a move where he can hit you like four times, twice or four times or something. Thanks, we got to stumble right away. I don't know if Big Eye, I can't remember if this monster joins you. This might be one of the ones that doesn't join you. Because like from this point on, or like from up to this point, every single, mon every single boss monster you battle joins you no matter what. Snowstorm is not good for us. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. Yikes. We might have to heal after that. Who should we keep healthy? Probably Poop. Poop hits the hardest, so we'll keep him healthy. This might be like the, the passing point for us where we just absolutely have to have a monster that heals. God, twice in a row is really dirty. He usually doesn't use that move as much as he just did. 
Do, do, do. And try to trip him. Ah, oh, he's three times in a row. That's gonna wipe us. Crap. The adorable big eye just murdered us. Darn it. Well, I think that just goes to show it's probably time that we get a healer on this crew. Probably about that time. If you get a healer on your crew, you can also, um... You can also, like, use an item to heal, and then you can use your healer. That big eye was so strong. Did you see it? He used that, like, crazy move on us, like, three times in a row. And it does, like, 35 damage to everybody. I don't really, I have no idea what's, like, resistant to, like, that ice move. And it's probably, probably not our bug. Our bug is awful against that. The rabbit didn't seem to like it too much either. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Moment of truth. Rio is level 10. Who can we breed? We can't breed him with a hobo, not the bean. Not the spot. Breed him with chicken. We can get a cat fly. That doesn't seem like a very Rio thing. <laughs> Who else can we breed him with? Uh, we want to breed him with, like... I think it's clay we want him to, but it's the wrong... Are we going to poop and see what happens? No, we already have that. We don't want that. Oop, 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 oop. Clicking too many times. Too bad. Hail. Did it say Hail was level 10? Nice. Our, our healer's level 10, too. Rio likes the chicken. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have that many females. <laughs> we really want... We want to get... We're probably going to have to wait for this bean to be... Uh, bean to be 10, but we're actually going to try Rorn with somebody, too. Just to see. It might be the same... But I'm not 100% sure. A wild ape? Wow. <laughs> we can breed and get a... Uh, oh, maybe I should try Rio with buff and see what happens. We should try Rio with buff. Because we're already using buff. And we like buff's moves. So maybe we can get a better Rio with buff. No, it's just saves her. Saves her not very good monster. Um, maybe... What else we got here? What about hail with the chicken? We can get a wing slime. That's pretty interesting. And a pork. Uh... It's really hard to keep all these names straight. It's, like, super difficult. I thought that we named them with, like, a relatively good... Uh, Picky, we have that, don't we? Yeah, Picky is somebody for us, already. Oh, jeez. Um... I thought we named everybody with a relatively good idea behind who was who. Uh, wait, are you... We're trying to find somebody... So if we breed Rio with somebody from... Where's the family? This type of a family? Whatever that family says, it's like material or something, I think. And it makes uh, a really good monster for us. That's kind of what we're trying to get. But both of our... Both of our monsters from that family are males, and Rio's a male, too. So that doesn't really help. We're going to have to do a different thing. Uh, I really want to try to breed buff with somebody since he's level he's level 16. If we can get another, like, sort of good monster here. Uh, we don't want the Gopo Jetta. The thing that... <laughs> uh, maybe Rio with Zubat? Catfly? What about the Zubat with Rio? Uh, Bul we already know what Bulbird is. Hmm. Well, we don't have too many options here, unfortunately, I don't think. Oh, we could get a really fast snail. Remember the snailies that were, like, kicking the crap out of us? And we probably know how to heal, too. Hmm, that's an option. That's definitely an option. Or we can get a... Should we get a snail or a giant slug? <laughs> If I, if I breed the healer, then the offspring will know how to heal. And that's why we kind of want to breed the healer with something. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody else knows how to heal. Uh, that's one heal for you. Massacre. Dodge, Massacre, Lush Yeah, we don't have anybody. This guy knows twin hits. One hits is really good. The hobo's got a few good things. Curse off an antidote. Hmm. 
What if we try Hobo with Buff? We get a Cactaball. What about Buff with Hobo? <laughs> we get a Tail Eater. Hmm. None of those are really speaking to me. Crap. I feel like we should do something here. We have Cookie. What's Cookie good at? Oh, these are both bird types. I think Cookie... Bring Cookie with somebody? Uh, Cookie with... Buff? We can get a Duck Knight. What do you guys think about a Duck Knight? <laughs> it's a, it's a... Or, sorry, Duck Kite, not Duck Knight. Duck Kite. Hey, I know who that... I know, I recognize that name. Hi, Connor. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks for coming to my stream. I like the duck kite idea. Was that... Was that... I can't remember what who was the pedigree right there. Is it like this? Or we can get a butterfly. Should we get a butterfly? Should we get a... I think the, I think the duck kite might be interesting. Just to replace Buff, because Buff's just kind of getting a little outdated. Uh, and he's also just an ant. Maybe we should get the duck kite. I think we're going to get the duck kite. Just to get something a little different here. I like the duck kite idea. No, it's not. Oh, crap, I did the same thing. No! Nope, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it's this way. Yes. Yes, we would like a duck kite, please. One duck kite. I don't know if you guys noticed about the, uh, the last time we bred monsters together, but once you breed your monsters, they go away forever. The mom and the dad, they just disappear. I don't know what happens to them. They're just gone. But where were you driving to? Or what, driving from? To? Away from? To? <laughs> Inside is a duck kite. Yeah, we'll hatch that shit. We want a duck kite. What do you think it's going to look like? It looks like what you would think a duck kite would look like. <laughs> I guess we're just going to name him Duck for right now. Duck seems like an appropriate name. Yeah, we want to name Duck. And we're going to take Duck with us. Let's see what he looks like. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> he is literally a duck kite. SeaTac and Burian. Hmm. Were you working out there today? I guess it's Duck Kite. <laughs> He's so funny looking. He only needs two experience to level up. That's awesome. Oh yeah, you are coming to see us tomorrow, aren't you? Dude, we got a freaking Duck Kite. How awesome is that? Maybe we should just have a... Uh, I, I'm get, I think this is purple. I have a blue background. We should just have a purple team. A team of purple things. Alright, we're gonna go back into the Traveler's Gate. That duck is gonna level up really, really fast. He only needed two experience to get to the next level, whereas our rabbit unicorn needed like five. And I bet I think Poop needed like ten. He was he was he wasn't as good. Wasn't quite as good. But we're gonna go back into the Traveler's Gate. We're gonna do some training. And hopefully we can still learn that nap attack move really quick. I love the duck kite and he's so cute. Look. <laughs> It's like you're flying a kite behind you because he's following you around and he's a duck. Oh. For some reason I thought they were... I, for some reason I thought that uh, her family lived farther away. Or sorry, not farther, closer to you guys. I'm not really sure why I thought that. Is a day off? You have one of those schedules that like lets you have uh, every other... Or every... Yeah, every other Friday off. Oh, this uh, eye clown has a really strong, like, single target fire ability. Hmm. So we're probably actually worse for wear right now, like, going into these battles. Because we have, like, two monsters that are sort of new to the party. Duck is just leveling up, and he learns zap. Well, that was a quick visit. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. <laughs> we will have a great time with our duck kite. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Kill the bean pole. Do do do. Do 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 do. 
do do. And so this is like one of those moments where a healer would be even better because as Duck Kite levels up, he doesn't like maintain that extra like hit points that he does when he like gets his levels. He gets like I don't know, he get he got like a bonus like ten hit points or something, but he won't like heal those up as he levels up. He'll just stay at the exact same uh, hit points that he had before. Same with the magic points. So it'd be really nice to have like some level of healer. Maybe we should I don't know, maybe we should try to catch something that has healing in it, but we haven't really seen anything that heals, apart from hail. Alright, no sleep. He hasn't, he hasn't learned nap attack yet, though. Nap attack is like the one that we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah, crap, I forgot that because we died, we lost like half our money in all of our items. <laughs> crap, we had a misstaff in there. That's 700 gold we lost out on it. If only I knew the big eye, the cute little big eye, was going to be just decimating the team. Would have been nice to know. Have we been over here already? No, we have not. Ugh, this hole, where is it? It's so far. It's so wide. It's almost as wide as our duck kite. I'm gonna try to capture this eye. Oh, we don't have any freaking jerkies. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Yeah, dying in this is, like, actually bad. It, like, actually ruins it. Yeah, it takes all your items except for one herb because you get it, like, as soon as you pop back into the, the uh, great tree. But, yeah, it, uh, as soon as... <laughs> literally, as soon as you... As soon as you die, you lose all your items, and I think you lose half your gold, too. So it's it, it's really kind of shitty, and as you've seen, you can die anytime. Like anytime that you want to get like a bad roll, some bad RNG, it's just you walk into a boss fight that you think you're ready for, but you're really not. You you die, and it's awful. You lose everything. It's just the worst. We got a beef jerky, so at least we have a chance to catch something. Did we like walk by the hole? We're like the very last like frame up here is where we're going to find it. Would you believe it? <laughs> that happens sometimes. You just walk around the whole map forever and you can't find anything. And then other times you like fall into the next map and it's right next to you. Hmm. We've got to try to see if we can find one of those eye clowns again. I feel like that had... I, I didn't know that it had that really cool... It has a really cool like uh, a blazing move where... It does like a lot of fire damage, just like one single target. That could be really good against bosses that are weak to that kind of stuff. It's better than just like attacking them normally, which is sort of what we do. We might actually just warp wing out of this as soon as Duck gets to level 10, and we might like breed him again. This is kind of like what you do in this game for like a little bit. You just like. You get a monster to level 10 really, really quick that you know you want to breed or at least have another option to. So duck a fee. It was a female, too. That's really good for us because we had so little females that were level 10. So this thing's going to be able to make some new monsters that we haven't actually seen yet as an option. Um, and hopefully it makes, I don't know, something relatively reasonable. And if it's something I haven't used before, I'm not, like, opposed to using it. I've never used it. I've never used the duck before. It is a girl duck, and it, and it is waddling. Lots and lots of waddling. Yeah, I think we're just gonna warp wing out. I think if I don't find the next hole, like, okay, I found it right now. I just want to see what the next boss, uh, next spot is in case there's like a exactly one of them. <laughs> in case there's something like this where I can uh, buy some items because we just lost like all of ours. I like to like we lost our world leaf, which really sucks. That was a thousand gold out the window. I want to get like two or three antidotes. Some of these emergency things. What does a moon herb do? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what any of those do. You always gotta go to the next hole, just in case. Just in case there's something for you. There wasn't nothing here for us, so we're just gonna warp bring that back out. Keep all of our items, get healed up really quick. Back to the breeder we go. Walk all the way back down the tree. And hopefully we get something cool. What type of monster is Duck Kite? Is he that, like, 
bug thing. No, he's a plotting thing. Because we bred him with a bug, didn't we? we? Like, it was a bug and a bird and we got a duck, <laughs> I think. I think that's what happened. Bug plus bird equals duck. That's what ducks are made of. They're made of bugs and other birds. So, duck, tell me about yourself. Bulbird, we don't want that. You see how that bulbird said plus two on it? If you read something that has a plus one on it, it'll always make a plus two. Um, mom. Mamanja. Mamanja. Mamanja? Mamanja. I don't know what that is. Let's see what other kind of things we can We can maybe breed him with a healer. That would be cool. Did this make something cool? No, just a wing slime. Uh, duck plus heal. No, we've already had a picky. Um, maybe duck plus was bean ready? No, maybe duck and a hobo. Get a flora J. I don't know what that is. Hobo duck. <laughs> An evil seed. That is where ducks come from. Alright, let's see if we can get something reasonable here. There's not too many options for us. We don't really want to re read Roran with Duck. Um, mostly because those are like two of our main monsters that we're using right now. Uh, who else can Duck go with? Duck can go with... Uh, Gino and... or Neen and Cash. Those must be the same type of monsters. No, 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 no. What about Pash? Pash is that knight looking thing, right? Oh, a demon knight. We have one of those. Apparently a duck and a knight make an evil something. <laughs> we think about a mad pecker. <laughs> Alright, this is not going well. This is this breeding chart is just not going well for us. We need we just need something different. We need we need a healer in some degree. Um, do we have a male dragon somewhere? I don't think we do. Female dragon. No, we don't. Crap. Well, I think I know what we might have to do. We might have to breed this Gino with something. And Gino's like the, the ice man that we said that we were gonna like be with that guy's lava man, but then he didn't have one. You know what I mean? <laughs> we kinda messed that up, but so Gino's actually not very useful to us now. This is one that I think would be really good for us, is a blizzardy. It's very pretty. Uh it's not a duck, but it's like a ice flying bird thing that uses ice flying bird thing moves. I think that would be a good idea. It's plus two, so it's actually a pretty decent blizzard. Here. We could always use Iceman later. The thing is, well, I was hoping... I don't think there's any way to breed a... Uh, to breed a uh, Lava Man from an Iceman. I think it's, like, two different... I, I think that these two specifically are meant to, like, breed into each other and let... That's it. Like, you have to, like, find them via other monster tamers. So, the fact that we have the wrong one is just, like, it doesn't mean anything. We, like, having Gino helps us in no way to get to that gold golem. But it, he does help us a lot in the way that he can make us a blizzardy, which is, I think, a really solid monster. So, we're probably going to do this, but I just want to check to see if Gino can breathe with anything else. I uh, can breathe with that. That also makes a blizzardy... I don't know what that does. Uh, coil bird, no, wait, was it, where are we bringing with chicken? No, we're bringing with duck. Yeah. Yeah, you see, he's just like meant to make a blizzard. So it was short lived, but we're gonna breed duck with, uh, with Gino here. This is one of the better monsters, I think. You guys will probably like it a lot. This would be a good thing to maybe almost close out the episode with as well. 
There's our Iceman and Duck. The duck was short-lived, but he, he got level 10 so quick that it was just like, alright, we're ready. We're ready to do this thing. The other thing you can do is there's another monster in the game called a phoenix. And I think if you breed a blizzardy with a phoenix, it makes like a rainbow hawk or something. It's kind of it's another one of those like kind of super monsters that you have to get by um, specifically breeding these two things together. Ice, it's a real tube. What do you think we should name a bird made of ice? <laughs> I know we haven't seen it yet. I wish we could see it before we got to this. But this is probably going to be one of our main monsters for at least a little while now. Until we get, uh... Until we get the one... Well, actually, no. We're going to use this one alongside of the one we breed Ryo with to make Kuno. Ooh, that's good. That's a great idea. Yeah. Kuno, like Articuno. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. Yep. Alright, we're done breathing for right now. Yeah, what do, you, what do you guys see this monster? I'll show you really quick. There's a spring. And look at the cool bird! It's like, it looks sort of like an Articuno, kinda. <laughs> it's very, very cool. Plus, dude, it levels up super fast again. I thought it was gonna, I thought this thing leveled up slow. Nope, it's going to level up fast. This monster was not as useful as I thought it was going to be, <laughs> Rorn. I thought Rorn would be would be a little better, I'll be honest. <laughs> I thought Rorn was going to bring it home to us, but we don't have... I think we need something from the Material family. I don't really remember. It's a cool bird because it's, it's an ice bird. Do you get it? We might be able to... I can't remember... I, I feel like we need to find... You know what we might do? <laughs> we might go back into... No, we can't do that. I was going to say, we might be able to go back into like one of the old Traveler's Gates and try to find a female Rio. Because that's exactly what we're missing right now to get uh, that good monster that I like a lot. But, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to go back to that original gate. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do, do I have, we do not have a warp wing. So we're going to go buy a warp ring really quick. Once we get the warp wing, we're going to go to the Traveler's Gate. We're going to train up a little bit. We're going to exit the Traveler's Gate because we still need a healer to beat that big eye faster. Um, and then we're probably going to call it an episode, I think. I think that's going to be roughly the right time to call an episode. Do you have a warp, do you have a warp wing for me that I could have? You do have a warp wing I can have. Thank you. Oh, another thing we should do right now before we actually go back out into the wilderness because we might lose again is drop off all of our money. Because we lost like half of our money earlier. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Can you please... We will put something. We will put gold. Uh, we will give you 900... or 800 gold, short. We'll keep a little bit with us. Why not? 800 gold really isn't that much in the grand scheme of the game. It would have been really nice to drop off like that two and a half thousand we had not that long ago. That would have been pretty sweet. But, of course, Big Eye said, no, we can't do that. So we said, okay, we won't do that. And that's what happened. <laughs> and just like that, that was pretty much the game. But we're going to go back in this Traveler's Gate. We have our emergency warp wing to get out. Hopefully Blizzardy, I mean Kuno, uh, levels up really quick. Staff right away, that's nice. We like that. It's a warp staff, even better. I can't remember if a warp staff... Yeah, it warps you right to the Mystic Hole. So if we're like lost anywhere in the map, it's way better than like a mapper, because a mapper just tells you where the hole is. And the warp staff just warps you right to where it is. It could have been next to you. Sure, it could have absolutely been next to you. But you wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. Come on, encounter. It's a one-eyed clown. Let's kill it quick. Really, really quick. There we go. Nice. 
That had a nice HP increase. You see that? It had like eight. I had six. That was good. And those Frigidaire. Man, nine? Nice. So Frigidaire is like the ice type of, like the ice version of the uh, fire air or whatever it was that uh, Poop has. And it has like a different animation too. It's really nice. I think it's even, I think it mostly it's stronger too. I think it's a stronger move. And that's just like something that a Blizzardly will, will always learn, regardless of who its parents are. It will always learn that move. It will always, always be able to breathe ice. One antidote. <laughs> Come on, Blizzardy. Come on, Kuno. Let's get an encounter here. Of course, the times we're trying to get encounters, we don't get, like, hit every single time. That's how this game works. Whatever you want to happen is the thing that does not happen. It's exactly the opposite of what you think. There goes Frigidaire. Nice. Get this Bean Man, get some experience, we're on our way. Great. Attack plus zero, that didn't look very good. <laughs> Ice Bolt's pretty good, though. That's probably another one it just learns inherently. Any of the Ice type moves, I'm sure, it just knows. I feel like our team has really diversified this episode. I feel like we started with the bug, and we had poop, and we had Ellen, right, as our first three? We replaced two of those monsters already. In fact, we've replaced one of them twice now, because we replaced it with the duck, and then we got Kuna right afterwards. So we've effectively had like an entirely different team <laughs> through this episode. We do still need a healer too, so it's still actually going to change. But we just can't seem to find something that heals for us very well. That HP and agility increase, holy crap. Dude, it's like going nutty. How much HP do you have already? You have 70. It has more HP than anybody else in our party already. Nice. Turns out, uh, Blizzardy is just super, super healthy. Yeah. All the breeding monsters, they just, I don't know what happens to them. I have no idea. They just go away. I think they're basically salmon. Think of them as salmon. Like when the parents go up the stream, they spawn, and they die right afterwards. I don't know that the monsters die, but I do know that salmon die. So maybe it's similar? <laughs> they probably don't die. I'm sure there's like some theories out there somewhere about what happens to the monsters after they're done breeding in this game. Alright, let's see. I think I'm almost good-ish on training here. I just want to get like these guys to like level 10-ish before the next episode. I, I don't I still have no idea how we're gonna get that 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 next Rio level monster. We basically need to like have that material type as the opposite gender of whatever Rio is. And we've just got like seriously unlucky. We have like three of those types, but all of them are males. One of them was even the boss monster that I, maybe I should have known. Maybe that's what they do. They go live on a farm. Maybe they just live on the farm permanently with that guy who like says those really long words when he puts all the short ones together. Can't remember his name. Julio something. Yeah, it's his name. We got an herb. We've got an herb. Got some gold. Moving up. Nice. I don't think we're gonna try to fight the big eye this time. I think we're gonna leave the big eye alone. Do fire air. Oh, we actually all of the. Uh, Oh, used ice. Bolt. All of our monsters right now have a uh, have moves that hit all three of the uh, op uh, opposing monsters, so we can like sweep them like this. But of course, it uses magic to do that, so we can't do that like indefinitely. But it gives us 100 experience pretty quick. Gotta like that. Frigid air becomes ice air. Oh man, there's some hype. So when that fr when those uh, air moves become something else, it just becomes a more powerful version. 
of the one that they already have. And I think we have a staff, right? Oh, it's, we're gonna hold on to that staff. Um, and I think uh, I think it's based on like their intelligence level. So like if you go through, if your monster levels up and gets past like a certain intelligent level, then uh, it will it'll automatically trigger that move to get better. And so our Sky Dragon must not be very smart. 51 damage? Dude. Kuno. Kuno's gonna be with us for a minute. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I hope everybody likes Heart of Kuno because that 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 shiny bird is gonna be with us for a bit. That's a lot of damage. Especially because that move hits everybody. That like 50 damage it just did to Hobo right there. Hits everybody. Alright, we're on the last hole here. I think we'll just get one more encounter. Grab a couple of coins. Warp wing out, we'll call an episode. <laughs> it's the Flora Man. It's the Florida Man. <laughs> Let's see. We can just attack. Yeah, this Ice Air. Watch it use on these two hobos. It hits both of them, like that. That's awesome. That's so much damage. <laughs> That's like more than Roran can do in a single attack, and he just did it to two different monsters. That's gonna be really good when we start battling, um, like in the Starry Night Tournament again. That's basically what we want that move to be for. Sweet, I am satisfied with that. Warp wing out of here. Nice, we got an herb. Yeah, look how much, look how much HP in the bottom part of the screen there. Look how much HP it has already. Like, it's not very strong. It doesn't, it has pretty bad attack. It has really good defense for the most part. It's very fast. It's very smart. And it has just a ton of HP. That's awesome. Some of these, some of these monsters make no sense. This, this rabbit has so much magic in it. It has 62 magic points, but it has, like two things that cost magic at all. <laughs> we might have to breed a uh, poop into something better, like a better dragon. He's not like a he's not like a plus one or anything. You see how these guys have the plus two and the plus one on them? It means that we've like uh, basically refined, refined them a little bit. They were hatched out of like two parents that we know. This one was just dropped by a sky dragon. Um, and those like pluses really matter. We're like, what, our end game is like once we have the like monsters we want to beat the Starry Night tournament with, we want them to be like plus twelve. So we have quite a bit of things to do before we actually get there. But Blizzardy is probably going to hang out with us for a little bit. I'm pretty impressed so far with Blizzardy. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. I streamed a little bit longer than I thought I was going to stream today. I thought I was just going to make it like an hour and be like, oh god, today was just awful. I just can't make it. But I was having fun, and some people joined us today, which was pretty exciting. Not just the usual crew, but I do love and appreciate the usual crew. Um, I guess I'll be chatting with you guys tomorrow a little bit about some plans to get down to where we're going. To Skagit. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning into my live stream. I'm going to save this game. I want to make sure we save it <laughs> and uh, can continue on the next time. Probably not streaming at all tomorrow. Probably not Sunday either. Uh, maybe Pokemon Sunday, though. Maybe a Pokemon recording setting on Sunday. But Alright, y'all. End stream. Thanks again for tuning in. No stream issues today, hype. <laughs>